Welcome back. It's time for us to move on to Therian's final chapter. And obviously, he was quite low level, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go away and level up the last two characters that we've got stories for. And I kind of got the times 100 XP, so as you can see now on the right, they went from like level 25-ish to level 50 quite fast. And we got Primrose and Cyrus up to level 66, so it's like very, very nice. But I want to get rid of Hanit and actually get... What's the name back in? I forgot her name. Tressa. How did I forget her name? She's been there like the entire time. Where's the, where's the stairs? Oh dear, oh dear. Where's... Where, there you are. Right. Well met, Traveller. Yeah, 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 yeah. Change party, right. Hey, yeah, Tressa coming in. It's like, she's not really that much higher level than Hanit now. That feels very, very strange, but all right. Fine. And anyway, we need to hear a tale now. Therians, Chapter 4. You arrive in Northridge, a town under Darius's control. Still... You are determined to retrieve the emerald and gold dragon stones. Oh yeah, that's what was going on. That's the only problem with this game, I forget so easily. Alright, story so far. The story so far. Infiltrating the black market in Wellspring. In pursuit of the second dragon stone, Therian was reunited with Darius. His erstwhile partner in crime, who swiftly vanished, stone in hand. What's with those pitiful minces? So cold and guarded, distrusting and wary. Therian could not deny what Darius had said, whatever that meant. He had sworn to trust no one. He would not be betrayed again. But even as he made his way to Northreach, Cordelia's words wouldn't leave him. Mr. Therian, I have faith in you. And so it was that he finally arrived at his journey's end. Hmm. So, this is Northridge. <laughs> and it's eager to make a first impression. Oh! Stop! Those are mine! <laughs> Not anymore, they ain't. I, ca I can't do anything in, in line with that laughter. Jeez. Ha! And it over. Thieves. Someone stop them. Oh. Sorry to say, but ain't no one going to stop those thieves. Aren't there guards in this town? Truth be told. Ian the guard. Ian the guards one layer and on them. Ian the guards one layer and on them. All right. Oh my god. That's just our life is here. That's how. It's like, I want to do it naturally, but it's like, oh, that's just our life is here. I guess that's it. Best not. It's just too much. Best not to get too attached to anything. To anything. To anything. It's like Tinternet. That's how, this, how to say the internet in the north. Tinternet. But. But. I see. A thief's paradise, huh? <laughs> is this Darius is doing? Everyone here is living in fear. Your finest ale, sir. Oi. It's him. Huh. Yeah, no doubt about that. Yeah, you can see the wanted sign on the wall. Uh, uh, if Finn were lucky, he's just come to use the bog. There's a bog in here? Where? Like, seriously, where is the toilet in here? I... I don't see a door to anywhere. Hmm. Triple dot. Hey. Give me a glass of your best. <laughs> we're out of our best. Uh, actually, we're out of everything. Uh, look at the shelves. We've clearly not got any 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 drinks what's, whatsoever. We're closing for the day. Uh, best you be on your way now. Sure. Guess I'll show myself out. This is... Is this... Me? 
They didn't even get my best angle. Beware. Yes. Right, there we go. Any involvement with this man will be considered direct opposition to Lord Darius. <laughs> Lord Darius? I guess he really does rule this town. Yeah. Travel banter it is. Mm. You sure like your alehouses, don't you, Therian? I don't go because I like them. I go to hear people talk. Mead and spirits are good for loosening tongues. Huh. So your interest is purely professional. Look, taverns are places where rumours and secrets are spoken and traded, but I wouldn't expect a brat like you to understand. Hey, who are you calling a brat? I've been turning trades and making profits since I was five. Have you now? I delivered spirits to three alehouses every day for over a year. I've seen my share of drunken fools. Should I be impressed? You bet. Still can't stand the smell of grog, though. Makes me gag. Still a brat after all, then. Bit harsh. She could probably teach you a, a thing or two I, I'd expect. Come here! Down here. <laughs> yeah, got some guts marching into this town. Come again? And you are? Wait, don't tell me. You're Darius's welcoming committee, aren't you? <laughs> Aye, and we'll make sure you get a warmest of welcome. Z boys. My god, where'd they come from? <laughs> I suppose quality over quantity doesn't mean much here. Shut up! Uh, Alright, steady on. It's quite rude. If we stab you enough times, you still die. You think you can stall for time by yapping? Ain't nobody coming to save you, even if you scream bloody murder. That's right. That's right, yeah, yeah. You best give up. Oh, 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 hope. Right. You best give up hope now. Everyone is. <laughs> Everyone here fears Lord Darius. It's too much. Interesting. So what's it like leeching off someone else's power? Shut up! By Jove! Let's do it! Kill him. Oh, here we go then. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready for this. More than ready to be. I am like, ready. You know, it's like we're quite Be in well leveled now. It is like. Yeah, that 100 XP. I was planning to level up for like two, three hours, just Here getting to a, a decent level. And it was like probably my third or fourth fight. It was like, oh, Blood of arrows. well, that's that's me done for leveling up. I don't need to do any more then. Very well. Quite nice in the end. Saved me a lot of time. A lot of time. All right, so let's try Lightning Blast. Nothing will fight the ah, there we go. There we go. Out of my oh, way. Then we can use. Mm. Ooh, wildfire. No, no. Only problem is, like, Therian doesn't have it's my turn really now. any good equipment. That's the only problem. It's like, eh. Uh, I mean, I could go with Arrow Storm again, but the guys at the back clearly do not have arrows and bows and arrows as a weakness. So it's like, hmm. Choices, choices. I am ready. Oh, are you now? It's like, I could keep one alive and try and get some more XP. I might still do it, just, you know, once. Be funny, wouldn't it? You never know, we might end up with something. Let's see if we kill these guys or not. Let's do this! It's like trying oh, you are weak to that. Hmm. Alright, good, good, good. Okay, so we'll defend way. for now. No, you don't. You mean no I don't. I clearly did. I clearly defended. Curious, aren't you? Let's see if we get if we get another hundred times XP, this is gonna be stupid. Oh, it's dead. There we go. The <laughs> show is over. Doom, 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 doom. Like that. It's like barely any XP at all. Oh, Bleeding hell. 
Are we done here? Enough. I've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> Enjoy your victory while you can. Because there's no way you're leaving this town alive. Who says I'm leaving? Hello? This is getting old fast. <laughs> you ready to die, mate? It'll be slow and painful for you, that's for sure. There's nowhere left to, left for you to leg it, yeah. Damn it. I'm starting to see the appeal of qual quantity over quality. These odds are bad anyway, I look at them. Oh dear. That look of resignation is unbefitting of you. I could have well, taken I'll them. Be damned. Heathcote. I don't suppose you could have gotten here a little sooner. Good to see you again. You can thank me later. Come now. For now, follow me. Got it. You don't have to tell me twice. Don't let him After get him. away. There's barely anything in this room. We should be safe here. Are you okay? I'm more than okay. I don't have to keep saying all the words anymore. Ugh, it gets tiring, you know, you start to lose oxygen after a while. In a manner of speaking, yes. But I'm afraid I'm not as young as I used to be. I, uh, I know, I know you feel, mate. When I was your age, I never imagined time would wear down my bones so. You're saying an old man slipped this bangle onto my arm without me noticing? Yes. That was simply a skill I learned in my youth. But time will take even that from me eventually. Where did you learn how to do that? Butler training? Uh, yes, it's, it's, it's day one. Why? <laughs> you were a thief, weren't you? <gasps> You've only just figured that out? Guilty as charged. Now it all makes sense. You're the one who set those traps in the manor, aren't you? I thought that was obvious. You understand how a thief thinks, because you were one. An astute observation. <laughs> I suppose I should explain myself. Would you humor this old man for a moment? Humor you? Oh, I'll have to tell you a joke, I suppose. All right, then. Um, two miners down a pit. One miner says to the other miner, Isn't it dark down here? The other miner says, I don't know, I can't see. I met Lord Ravis, Cordelia's father, before she was born. I was something like you at that time. Youthful, gifted, and proud of it. I do enjoy that joke. It's it's one of those, like, just so, such a simple joke, but I learned it in my youth, and I it just, I just love it. It's my, it's my go-to joke. I was certain there was nothing in this world I could not steal. Then why are you working for the Ravis family now? For the same reason as yourself. You were entrapped? I too snuck into the manor, only to get caught by the head of the household. Yeah, but was the head of the household also a thief? And set up all these traps? Because how did you get caught? You can't have been that good. He offered me a deal. He said he would not hand me over to the guards on one condition. That one day I would serve his child who would have guardianship over the Dragonstones. Who would ask a thief who broke into the manor to do that? That's crazy. Imagine like someone like broke into your house and you offer them a deal where it's like, right, what I want you to do is in the future, my child, I want you to look after her. Like, excuse me? And now, you're seeing that promise through to the end. How does the- what, what kind of father is this? 
the more confidence one has in his skills, the greater the disgrace when he fails. I mean, he wouldn't have done any background checks to make sure he hadn't, like, killed children or was, or was like, a massive child killer or something like that. No, no, just, all right, you're a thief who's broken in. Do you one day want to look after my child? Otherwise, you're going to jail. What? What is his mo- What? You felt the same, did you not? I'm just- I don't even know what they're talking about now. I'm just so confused by Cordelia's father. And what was- What? Of course. Whenever I look at this bangle, I remember that day. What? 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 Outdone by a butler. And an old one at that. And to add insult to injury, I was shown mercy by the very one I tried to rob. It was absolutely disgraceful. Not just... not just mercy. Ugh. In the end, I had no choice but to start anew. What? Uh. Hmm. Yeah, that's how I feel. Even still, I gained more than I lost in the manor that day. Yeah. Yeah, you did. A hell of a lot. A big responsibility that shouldn't have been given to a thief who'd broken into... Uh. Without taking a single leaf. Indeed, I learned what it felt like to be believed in and the value of believing in others. I I, I, uh. Uh. I'm sure you've heard the story of Miss Ravis's past. No, it would be helpful to learn this because maybe there's something going on there that would explain why he, he would show mercy to a thief and then say, look after my daughter in future. Yeah, hard to imagine seeing the person she is now. Yeah, we need the details here. There was a time she thought the whole world was her enemy. She wouldn't let anyone get close. But as the days passed, she began to change. How so? I continued to have faith in her, and thus she learned to have faith in me. Wounds of betrayal run deep, but one must learn to have faith in others again before they can start to heal. I mean, I completely agree with this sentiment, but still, you wouldn't ask the thief that broke into your house. And that is why she decided to have faith in you, too. Just like someone did for her. That's enough talk of the past. I mean, I can understand Heathcote's motive for wanting a thief, because they need a thief to get the dragon stones. That makes sense. I, uh, I'm never going to understand it. Someone explain it to me if there's a, like something I'm missing here. I don't think I am. You must find a way to get those stones back from Darius. Me? I mean, I guess her father could have been an extremely good judge of character and understood what this future would be, but I doubt it. Yes. Unfortunately, my old bones would be nothing but a hindrance if I accompanied you. But I have faith you can do it. <laughs> I'll come back with those stones. You have my word. Stay safe, Heathcote. Now to find where Darius is hiding. There's no way he covered all his tracks. I mean, how can you be sure of that? Just, people take... take? Oh, people make too many assumptions in this world. Quite put off by all this. Just, just isn't right at all. Just isn't right. I... I mean, seriously. <laughs> well, this is ironic. I'm the most wanted man here, but I haven't stolen a thing yet. Oh, it'd be a thing. Yet. Huh. Any trace of him yet? Oh, it's become unresponsive again. Not yet, sir. 
Vanished like a white wolf in a snowstorm, he did. Again, unresponsive. It's nah. weird. Like, sometimes it's fine. Let me, let me, let me just, just play around with it a little. Like, I'm, like, just sort of, um, imagine what I'm doing is like sort of wafting it in the air as if I'm drying it out. Just the right one. That seems to work. For some reason. I don't know. You may have heard the click then when I put it back. Um, and you'll be the next one to vanish if you don't stop your whining. Now Lord Darius promised a reward for his capture. So if you ever want to see your real riches, you better well find him. Y yes, sir. Can you notice, by the way, that it has become responsive again? I, I found the way to fix my, my right switch controller, and that's to shake it about in the air for a little bit. Then it becomes responsive again. I I don't know why that works, but it does. All right. Now I'll get back to work. Nope. All right. Hold on a minute. Shaking it again. Shaking it. Let's click it back in. It's like its batteries need charging and then just shake. That's what it is. It's like shaking a torch to make it work wow. again. You sure sounds important. He probably knows the way to the hideout. Probably. But I think it's... Mm, let's see here. Because we're going to a cathedral, so... I want to just, you know, like, split this up nicely. Ah, oh, yes, I don't think I was allowed in here somewhere at some point. That's obviously going to be the location I need to go. What's that noise? Interesting. An abandoned church. Nothing seems out of order. Very small church, isn't it? Huh. Except maybe these stairs. If their hideout isn't there, I don't know where it could be. But I can't just waltz through the front door. Time to get to work. Time to find myself a disguise. Oh, very well. I can get that chest finally. Yay! Oh, is that it? Oh, that's kind of disappointing. Hmm, I was going to end the part when we were going to enter the um, little thief's entrance thingy, but it's all like, mm, don't really want to do that then. Again, I'd, I'm trying to balance out the parts nicely. Right, so... Oh, I hope someone finds that bastard soon. Has to be getting here for I'm the boss again. <laughs> A small fry. This should be easy. Hey, looking for me. To hell with you. Is that where I am? That was easy enough. Where the hell did the bastard go? How do you not see him? Right, so it's like, hello there. Steal. Ooh, we'll have the olive of life as well. I trust you won't be missing this. Oh, what about the olive of... Oh. I'll take that. We won't be needing these for now. Sleep tight. Can I still steal the stuff? Just gonna... We're just gonna leave him there, out in the cold. Oh, that just, that just seems cruel. Oh, I can't steal the rest. Oh. He's gonna die. He's good. Can, excuse me, sir. Sir, you, sir. There is a man over there. He is naked. Well, he's, he's got boxes on. But other than that, he is naked. He's clearly not equipped to survive in this climate. No. No. Madam. Madam. Are you madam? Sorry. Sir. 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 There's a man over there. Hello? Follow me. Hello. Sir. Sir. There is a man. Come with me. What are you doing? Oh, for God's sake. You there. You too. Oh, you're nobles. You won't care. Oh, you won't care. Uh. Hey. 
looking for me. Come here. You're more new. How did you lose him? How did you lose him? Damn, I lost him. How? How bad is your eyesight? I suppose there's a blizzard going on, but still. That's strange. All right, steal. What, what can we steal from him? Oh, we're having the pomegranate first this time. The leader's garb. Hm. I trust you won't be missing this. I'm, oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'll take that. You won't be needing these from now on. Sleep an eternal tight sleep. Yep. That worked well, didn't it? You gotta like, so, excuse me. Did that, does anybody notice there's naked men all around the place? Where they, there's two two naked men's around. They will they will die. Anyone? No. All right then. Well, we'll um. We'll end this part here, and in the next part, hopefully, we will have um. Stop these guys from dying. Ta-ta for now.